Welcome back, Legendary Potato here to episode number two of Universal Minecraft Editing for a server. And in the last episode, what we did is we made GRF spawning. So basically what we have here is a custom spawn point with a custom inventory with custom enchanted stuff. So we spawn in with the monster spawner, we spawn in with chainmail, uh, with enchantments, we spawn in with a wooden sword and these wooden tools with apples. What I want to do in today's episode is I want to have kits. So let's say I have some sort of kit that I want to have people earn. So we'll have here maybe something so they can like place down a chest and there'll be items inside so they can unlock this kit uh, however they want to of course however I decide I want them to unlock it. Uh, they'll be able to get items inside there uh, that are predetermined and every single time they place down this chest those items will be inside of there. So. That's what I'm going to be doing in today's episode. Let's go ahead onto Universal Minecraft Editor and let's get started with the modding. Okay, so now that we're on the world, let's go ahead and locate our player. And then let's go ahead into our inventory here. So this is the inventory. I have all the GRF stuff. Uh, but if I want to go ahead and add something like a kit to my chest, or not to my chest, to my inventory, so it has a chest, what we're going to do is we can copy and paste a really simple and easy code, which I'll leave down in the description. And basically, it's a code with a chest, has some custom stuff, uh, basically a custom name, and allows us to modify the items inside of it very easily. So. As you can see here, we can throw in our items and also has the display name of kit. So pretty cool stuff there. So now if we want to go ahead and edit the chest, we come down to here and we can edit any of the slots inside of here. And so let's say I wanted to add um, some sort of kit here. So maybe we'll add something like a stone sword, for example. So what we'll do is we'll uh, select the stone sword, put it in. And so right there, this chest will always have a stone sword inside of it. So I can add anything inside this chest, whatever I'd like, any sort of kit. So I'll go ahead and add some kit stuff. Okay, so I've added a bunch of stuff. I added a sword, some armor, and some apples. And so this chest will always spawn with these items here. If I wanted to add anything else, I could keep adding things anywhere in any slot that I'd like. Let's say I wanted to throw a golden apple into there. Uh, for whatever reason, if I want to do that, uh, then I can. Uh, but it's all up to you whatever you want to throw inside your kit, but let's say I'm happy with this kit I'm just gonna delete the golden apple. Let's say this is uh, a very nice looking kit here uh, Then I am pretty much all set with that If I want to change the custom name when it's placed let's say I want to do something like basic kit So we'll do basic kit right there and so that will be the name of this one and so oops so let's say we do that, we confirm that, and so now that will be the basic kit when we place it down. And so I'm pretty happy with this chest, let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we load up the world. Okay, so now that we're back on the world, let's go ahead and check out our kit right here. So we now have this kit right in the back of our inventory that replaced the map, I got rid of that of course. And so let's go ahead and see uh, exactly what we have inside of here. We should, in theory, have everything that we put inside the chest, uh, st such as the armor, the stone sword, and everything there. And as you can see, there it is. So it has the kit, has the stone sword, has the leather armor, has the apples inside of it. And so if I place down these chests over and over again, you're going to see is that every single time we're going to get the same loot. And so you can have multiple kits uh, in your world. You'll be able to easily add multiple of these. So you can randomly kind of give these out as maybe uh, little upgrades or some sort of ranking system, whatever you want to do for that. Uh, but this is just one example of one kit. You can uh, definitely go crazy with what you want to do with these, of course. Uh, but this is how you can get predetermined loot inside your chest and it can be used for a lot more than a server There's so many uses for this if you just want to quickly put down chests or anything like that With the same stuff then you'll just be easily able to do that Which I kind of love about this is how easy you can do that right there. So yeah Anyways, uh, that's going to be about it for today's episode Of course if you guys did enjoy of course make sure you do leave a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and if you guys want to see more episodes on this series make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and you guys will see more episodes from this series in the future but with that said i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one guys and i'll see you guys next time peace out